Some food for thought tonight. How does malnutrition in state correctional facilities impact our communities? Well, a new report released today says spending less on food could cost us more. CBS 21's Maxine Rose spoke with the organization that put together this report, and she joins me now. Maxine. Yeah, the PA prison... The PA Prison Society spoke with several state prisons, just like the one behind me here in Camp Hill, to get a real idea of what it's like inside those state prisons. And according to a survey they conducted with people inside the prisons, 80% of incarcerated men say they're going hungry every day. You know, it's horrible. It makes people feel as if they're not people, and these are people. After spending 10 months in SCI Muncie, Jessica Lopez says she knows exactly what that feels like and looks like, too. Well, everything's mushy or undercooked, stale, bread. You get If you actually get fruit on the unit, it's moldy. Just about a year and a half ago, the PA Prison Society began research in three of the state's correctional facilities, including SCI Muncie. Now, the report covered several aspects of food service in state correctional facilities. Three main issues, including portion sizing and caloric counting, leaving many incarcerated people hungry, inflexible menus, and menus that contribute to diet-related illnesses, which result in medical care taxpayers would pay for. People are trying to find ways to nurse themselves. They're stealing from their positions where they work. Part of the issue the PA Prison Society says has to do with the sentiment that food should be a part of the punishment. If you care about public safety, you care about nutrition in prison because nutritional neglect is correlated with violence. I cannot tell you the number of incarcerated people that we spoke to who compared the current state of food service to being a dog in a kennel. These are people's grandmothers, these are people's fathers, uncles. Everybody has a loved one that is attached to our prison system in some way, shape, or form. After the society brought up its concerns, the Department of Corrections says it's made changes. Under the leadership of Secretary Harry, the DOC began a menu refresh in February of 2024 for the first time in two years, increasing the amount of fresh fruit, fiber, dairy options, whole grains and legumes, and decreasing the amount of processed carbohydrates, all while maintaining fiscal responsibility. A small investment to keep people safe, a small investment to keep people alive and well. And isn't that part of care and control? Now the prison society says that the new refresh menu still falls short on a few things such as caloric counting and many others as well. And we'll have the full report on our website for you to check out as well on CBS21.com. In Cumberland County, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News. Maxine, thank you.